Right. I am now live. So, um, I haven't given the uh, I haven't given Ustream a lot of chance to tune in, so he might be along shortly. Anyway, we'll also have it on on the video backup file too. But okay, Cameron, Cameron in front of City Hall on your fast. So your hunger strike. How how are you doing? Feeling like a million broccolis. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. Yeah, really. What is a million rock? No, how real? How are you feeling, dude? You're losing a pound I a day can't right complain. now. Probably. Yeah. Probably losing about a pound a day. What are you having to keep yourself nourished and hydrated and so forth? Well, I've got juices, pear juice, apple juice, carrot juice. Uh, I take vitamin every day and water. Okay, but you are avoiding like protein supplement and stuff that would make this uh, easier. So There's some protein in the juices and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Um. So have you talked to your doctor? No. Because your doctor just yell at you. I don't have a doctor. You don't have a doctor. Um. Now you did see somebody doctor. some of the medics from Occupy Portland come around to check on me every now and then good good well thank you to them we need the you know you to be as well as you can be so um, for those of you who do not know Cameron Whitten mayoral candidate who lost by just a smidge smidge oh I'm pinching my face Sorry. Okay. Just about um, thirty thousand votes. Yeah. So uh, you are on a hunger strike, and I have a Twitter for this channel that kind of gave three reasons as you explained them, and then mentioned that there was an interview. It said interview with Cameron, so this will be interview with Cameron too. Um, you know. Uh, it was, uh, is that guy with us? What guy? Yeah, he is. Unless, unless he's getting random hugs. Okay. Um, he does so, get random hugs, though. Yeah, he does. No. Okay. So, um, what's I saying? So, in that interview, you gave me the three reasons, and if people want to see that Twitter... It's on OPDX Vigil TV, one word, OPDX Vigil TV. And you can connect with Cameron, which is actually just Cameron Whitten, C A M E R O N W H I T T E N, one word. Right? All right. And uh, you give status updates and I stuff? Do. Okay. I'll try to give so follow, update. follow Cameron and you can check on him as well. But uh, we're gonna make a point of saying hi every time we're here. Hello, we got a viewer, which is probably OPDX Live or um, or Occupy P Town, our two live stream channels for OccupyPortland.org. Um, so uh, let's start from the top. You're Cameron Witten at hi. Cameron Witten on Twitter, <laughs> and uh, and you are on day. Nine. Nine today of your yeah. hunger strike. Eating just fruit juices and water and Drinking. a vitamin. Yeah. Indeed, yes. Yes. And uh, you've got Occupy Portland medic people checking up on you, but you don't have a doctor to, you know. I do not have a professional doctor checking up on me. Right. You're a doc of your own. So we're really grateful to... Um, our, our occupeeps. Um, let's see. Now, you've had a couple of people join you on this hunger strike. Mm -hmm. Oh, first of all, backing up, why don't you go ahead and list the, the three reasons that you gave? Actually, I have that flyer. Is that, now you have CameronWitten.com. Does that have your flyer? Yes. Okay, because your flyer is really hard to read. There's we'll the a little. Version. Yeah, okay, good. Because the, the little red letters get, get squished, but. Um, 
anyway, so Cameron Witten, C A M E R O N W H I T T E N dot com. You can read the flyer and it'll tell. But but basically, what are they? Uh, getting the vines withdrawn from the owners of Right to Dream Two, asking a city council to propose a housing levy for the general election ballot in November and asking for the county sheriff to issue a one-year moratorium on foreclosure evictions. Eviction. So they can foreclose, but they don't. They can just find other things to do with their priorities than yeah. actually evicting the people. Yeah. And you think that that's within their power, that they could just be like... The hmm. sheriff is the one who enforces uh, evictions from bank foreclosures. Okay. All right. So that would uh, give people some time to figure this all out. What, you know, especially people who have been swindled and need to get some legal stuff going. Give them a little time. All right. So that's really wonderful. And uh, have you talked to R2D2? I informed them of my hunger strike beforehand. Okay. All right. There's, you know, there's a lot of autonomous action support of R2D2. And I think that's really interesting. We don't necessarily talk to them. We just like, what the hell are you doing to R2-D2? Right to Dream 2, the rest area on 4th and Burnside that lets people, if they're not members, they can stay there 12 hours at a time and get some rest. And if they are members, they can stay longer. Um, you know, but, but it's a community solution. And what's ironic is here they are taking care of their own security, their own food, their own shelter. And the city, which homelessness went up 30% last year, and they're in their 17th year of their 10-year plan. Seven. They renewed after 10 years of failure, so they're really in year 17. Um, so, and who knows before that, of this promise to Portland to end homelessness, you know, the systemic homelessness, and, and yet, after such epic failure, they, uh, shut down or are attempting to shut down by fining by getting money from r2d2 which is doing their job for them and saving taxpayer money and costing them nothing so um we're pretty angry about that because it it rings a bell occupy served 1500 meals in a day had all these community needs taken care of um and the city shut us down over grass I felt no obligation to replace it with anything. That's that's what kills me. Okay, you're going to complain about the grass, but what are you going to do with all these people? Oh, scatter them. You know, that's what we'll do. We'll scatter them. So, uh, anyway, shame on them. And, anyway, so, Dignity Village has a flyer in our vigil that says, we support R2-D2. We were there 10 years ago. But as they are, they are not in the heart of the city. They're over by Gateway, right? Dignity Village, it's I think, over by, by the, the airport. airport. Yeah. By the airport, you're yeah. right. So, I mean, I don't know. In downtown, it's kind of like, well, out of sight, out of mind. And that's that's why we're here. Because it can't be out of sight, out of mind. Because when it's out of sight, apparently, you let homelessness increase 30% in a single year. <laughs> so we, we're bringing it to the city's doorstep. and. And I come here one day after doing this vigil. And in addition to having people sleep here every night, we now have Cameron on his hunger strike. And I can't believe we're already at day nine. Now, I was worried about you then, but you look almost better than you did when you started. That's funny. I don't even know where the hell, how is that? Well, they say, oh, Cameron's young. He'll be okay. As long as people are watching him, as long as he's being careful, he'll be okay because he's young. All right. <laughs> you say so scares me to death so what happens when you're not feeling okay because uh, you know you get to two week mark and you'll be hurting it happened two days ago yeah and I just consumed a lot of uh, fluids afterwards just got to replenish any energy that I use during the day so it's good I'm still just taking juice it doesn't really help me keep on the pounds but it de does help give me energy so I can continue to talk to people and be mobile right right so so you don't just stay exactly right here you go around town you No, i pretty much stay here all the time 
Um, if there's like an interview I need to go to and take care of, or if I have court or something, I will leave for an hour or two. But I haven't been away for more than three hours yet. Well, you did go to the Spokes Council, and that was probably the longest. I stayed for like only an hour and a half, and that's it was right across long. the street. It was long. It was right long. across the street. That doesn't even count. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, you're pretty tethered here then. And let's go look at your signs. Okay. Let's check them out. Yeah, we added four yesterday. Wonderful. Okay, so here's another thing I wanted to ask you about. You had two people join you now. Yes. So now, and and we're not sure how long they'll be able to go, but they're in solidarity with you. Yeah. Um, Monica, mm -hmm. who has been uh, at the vigil and helping out here since the start that I know of. Um, and then a girl I don't think I know. What, what's the other lady? Letty Tate. Letty? Yeah. So she's out here with you. Yes. Okay. Cameron Witten on a hunger strike for human rights, day nine. Letty Tate on hunger strike for human rights, day two. Great. This is great. Protect your future. Hey guys. All right. Let's see what we got. It's like a Mercedes sign. Can't complain. Right. Boy, it's so quiet over there. If there's something going to happen in about a couple of hours. Protect your future. That's how it was before we came here. I hope you do it again. Hey, like I know 4, that shirt. I have that here. shirt he's got. The Occupied Portland giant shirt. So this is really good signage. Oh, thank you. I wish, uh, I wish all of our Occupy events had clear signs for the public that attract yeah. attention like this does. It's beautiful. Thank you. We'll be adding more every day. That's great. Hopefully. We can make a whole tree full of signs. Mm -hmm. Next, I really want to work on if people can bring uh, wooden pallets. Uh, we also need spray paint and stencils. We need to make uh, a sturdy sign for drivers to come by and see. Uh, right now, we don't have anything to place it on, so we need wooden pallets that can resist wind and rain. That way, we can get some big lettering for any vehicles which might be on the other side. So how, like, how big of a sign would you need a pallet for? It's going to have to take multiple slabs of uh, poster board because the letters are going to have to be big for drivers. Okay, so what is the pallet for? To stand such a sign on? Yeah, it's going to be like the wall. Okay. So you would use how many? Like two? Uh, probably three or four. Four. Why four? Um, it's going to have to be a big sign. How are you going to get a sign like that up here? Where are you going to put it? It's going to be right here on the curb. In front of you? Yeah. Then people won't see you. Yes, they will. Oh, the cars don't need to see me anyways. People will be able to see me from this side. Oh. It's going to okay. be on the curb, mm -hmm. and it's going to be a string of four pallets, and they're going to be all tied together, and then we're going to cover them with poster board and decorate that. It's probably going to say hunger strike on it in big words. Okay. So you're here all the time. Yeah. What would happen if somebody just walked up and dropped off four pallets right here? Uh, we'd start tying them together with a rope. We also need rope. Oh, okay. Yeah. And... Um, this is a good day because uh, it's Sunday yeah. and uh, we don't have to pay for parking until 1 p.m. Yeah. Also, it's a good day because today is our softball game and mm -hmm. hold pork, well, never mind, um, <laughs> air, fruit juice, just <laughs> multivitamin. You're not going to be missing anything. All right. Um, so, baseball game, softball game, is that 2 p.m.? Do you know? I guess so. You're going to be here for it. Yeah. So, enjoy. I'll, I'll come to the police rally, though. Yeah. Well, um, I'm glad to see you looking so well. you got a donated jumpsuit that looks awesome. Mm -hmm. Helps Fits me you. Keep my temperature up. Yeah. So, anyway. All right. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, sir. All right, live stream. And everybody, love you guys.